and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some best of one action today. It's best of one day Monday. We're playing five decks over here in best of one. We're playing them in ranked. That's what the R means uh, for best of one. And we're just going to be playing seven games. That's what we like doing over here. Um, kind of like a World Series or, you know, baseball series. We'll see. Um, but we got, yeah, so we're going to be doing seven games with each of these. Our first two decks that we're playing, Rakdo Sacrifice and Azorius Control. These were two decks that made top eight of GP Leon this past weekend. Um, I guess yesterday. And um, and so, you know, we have sideboards. That, and for all these decks, I made sideboards. Really, the Fae of Wishes, best of one deck. Now, Fae of Wishes is the kind of card that um, you want to have, like, your 15 sideboard slots for best of ones. Like, this deck in particular is really made for best of one. But if you want to try these decks in best of three, if you're somebody who likes best of three, you can definitely do that. And, I, and uh, we have sideboards, of course, for these first two, because they were just from GP Leon. But then also for the other two, there are sideboards for those as well. Um, all right. So back back to our deck here. Um, yeah, so this is this was the, the Rakdos Sacrifice that the made top eight. Uh, question is, don't you think that Rankle might be better in best of one than Cavalier? No, I think Cavalier is awesome in best of one, because you're going to be facing a lot of other aggro decks in best of one, and having a 4-5 lifelinker, that is perfect. Um, anyway, about our deck, you know, this is four claim the Firstborn, and this was a card that I was just wrong about. You know, like, it, it happens. I'm wrong about cards. And this was a card whenever I previewed that I didn't think that it was that great. You know, it's Act of Treason. We've, we've seen Act of Treason a whole lot, and it's never really been a constructed um, effect. However, Act of Treason at one mana and all of the other good sacrifice stuff that we have has made it certainly constructed playable and it's just been a really powerful effect at just one mana because it lets us double spell um even though it only has the the clause with just cmc three or less that hasn't really been a factor too much with this metagame with most all of the creatures being cmc three or less sorry Haw hawkeye just had his lunch now he's all excited and wants to get some pets um, yeah, so this deck does does a really good job of taking advantage of this card. So I was thinking that, okay, well, claim the Firstborn's fine, but you need to have Witch's Oven, otherwise it's not really that good. Well, that's not the case here. We also have Angrass Rampage, which, you know, that's easy to double spell with, with just three mana. You can steal something, and then you can sacrifice it yourself to Angrass Rampage. You would... Obviously, you could just make your opponent sacrifice the creature, but this is something that you could do if they have, like, a lot of threats, and there's one that you want to get in particular. Of course, there's Priest of Forgotten Gods here, that if we have, like, one creature, like a familiar gutter bones and Priest, and we untap with Priest, and then, and then we can claim the Firstborn something else, um, and then sacrifice it to Priest. We have Cavalier of Night, which it's... It's not too difficult. You know, you need six mana, but that's not too difficult because, again, this is only one mana. You can play Claim the Firstborn, steal something, and then sack it to Cavalier of Night to destroy something else. So that's really nice. But then it can also, even in those scenarios, even in, like, uh, scenarios where you think it's dead because your opponent's not playing creatures that cost three or less, you can just use it on your own creatures to give them haste. That's not, like, the best thing to do. But sometimes that works out really well with Priest of Forgotten Gods. This is a kind of card that's really powerful whenever you untap with it, because this ability is really powerful, but you have to untap with it. Being able to give it haste, so for three mana, be able to play Priest, give it haste, that's that's a really uh, powerful thing to do uh, at times. Other times, maybe just give your Midnight Reaper or Mayhem double haste and just bash him. That could be something you could do also. So I really like Claim the Firstborn. That was a card that I underrated a lot, but just the more I've played against it, this is going to be my first time actually playing with the card, but the more I played against it, I've realized that it is very good. Um, yeah, there's 25 lands in here to help support the Cavalier of Night. Um, and also, there's a, you know, Castle Lock Twain is a wonderful mana sink, so if we do flood out, we can have Castle Lock Twain in here also. Okay, <clears throat> um, another question was, when would you side in Dreadhorde Butcher? I'm guessing that the Dreadhorde Butchers in the sideboard would come in, like, if you don't want to use Flame, if you're playing against, like, a control deck or something, and you don't really want Claim the Firstborn, and if Priest of the Forgotten, like, basically, if, like, Claim the Firstborn and Priest aren't very good, because they're not really playing creatures, 
Um, then you can kind of switch it up, take those out, play like Dreadhorde, Butcher, and Duress instead of those two kind of thing. All right. Let's get going. Let's play some matches. So where did we end up in ranked yesterday? All right. We're at Platinum Tier 3. We started at Platinum Tier 4 yesterday, so... That's where we ended up. All right, we're going to play standard ranked. We'll see how far we get today. And we're starting with Rakdo Sacrifice. No, I like, I like the list. So I think I'm just going to try it just as is. We'll kind of, you know, as we play it here, we'll see if, if there's anything that we want to change. But I'm going to start with the deck just as is. Hey, Hercules. Yeah, Acolyte of Flame. Acolyte of Flame makes Priest of Forgotten Gods even better. But when you don't have Priest of Forgotten Gods, it, I mean, I guess it makes Mayhem Devil better too. All right, anyway, this hand doesn't look too great. And we have red, so we have like tapped red to start with, but then it'd be tapped black. So then it'd be like turn three, we have two mana. I'm just gonna mulligan it. All right, we're gonna keep this. And I think I may get rid of priest, honestly, here. So I want oven and I want firstborn. Now, I definitely want Midnight Reaper because we're gonna we're gonna need to play like a little bit longer game here. I kind of feel like Priest is the one. I, I think it's either Priest or Rampage. I think it's one of these two. Which I guess Rampage is just better than F Firstborn. I guess I could put back Firstborn. This is kind of a tough decision because this is a hand that like everything is pretty decent. Yeah, Priest wins games when you have, like, creatures and stuff. We don't really have creatures. Like, I could put back Claim. But, like, if they, like, play an Oko, I'm going to want to have the Rampage. I mean, I think it's either Midnight Reaper or Priest. I think it's one of these two. And with us not having other creatures and us playing a longer game, I'm getting rid of Priest. I don't want them just to be able to just to play an Oko, and then I have no answer for Oko. Because my Rampage is gone, and then I die. I don't want that to happen. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to go straight, I'm going to go straight into the rampage. Because basically, I don't want to, if I go claim the Firstborn on the Pelt Collector and then sack it to the oven, right? But then they use their Priest and play, like, some big threat, right? right? So I use I do that, and they go to their turn, and they play, like, um, you know, whatever big threat. Then, then whenever I Angrass Rampage the next turn, they're simply just going to sacrifice the... Um, the, the Paradise Druid at that point. And the Paradise Druid already kind of did its job. So I want to just go with the Rampage first if they, sac if they do sacrifice um, Paradise Druid. And 
It's kind of done. Oh, you're welcome, magician. You're welcome. Ravappa asked, what do you think is the best list out there right now? Like, like, I'm not sure, like, so out of, like, what? Like, just, like, are you talking about, like, for Rakdos decks? For just every single deck at all? Like, in general? It's hard to argue with the the list that won GP Leon this past weekend. Um, you know, it got first. It basically got third. Also, there's like almost the exact same list. They got third, so it's Bant food. It's hard to argue that that's not the best list right now. Well, not looking good. Hey, Vox Mortis. This is what happens when you play 25 lands. Sometimes you just draw a lot of lands. This game we've drawn. We drew two spells. And four lands. Good draw. It's a really good draw. Hey, Cordy's. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Okay. You want a Corvold deck and best of three or best of one? Well, thank you so much for the donation there. I'm going to write that down. So, Corvold deck. I can definitely build one of those. Thank you. All right, so we're going to go to blockers. We're going to block here, block here. Hmm. Well, that's... That's just lethal. I mean, I can gain three life, but it's Death Touch Trample. Can't do too much about Death Touch Trample. Alright, their, their hand looked a lot better than mine. <laughs> GG's. All right. <laughs> All right, so I want to build a deck around Corvold. Um, so, Cordes, is there a specific day and time slot that you would like? Um, Wednesday, the first slot is taken up, but besides that, every other day and time slot. If not, I'll just try to do it soon. Um... All right, much better looking hands. I'm not sure exactly how I want to get these Fabled Passages in. Obviously, of course, Fabled Passage is best for after Mayhem Devil. But I'm not sure if we'll have that 
um, luxury of waiting. I want to get the familiar in play first to be able to attack there. this thing in play. Okay. The second slot. In any day. Do you have a preference with best of three or best of one? I mean, I can, I can do either. Very happy to do either. Either one. How much to play with the deck when it's best of one? Uh, usually it's it's twenty dollar donation for a donation deck. And it's just the same for best of one or best of three. Um, with the best of one league, like for the donation decks, I go through the best of one league where we play till we win seven or lose three. So we could play like up to nine games with it. Bunch of one toughness creatures is good for Mayhem Devil. That's a really good card for me to see. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and play Mayhem Devil. Let's attack with Gutter Bones. And now we're going to sacrifice Gutter Bones to do a damage to the Steamkin. But we're going to bring back Cauldron Familiar, sacrificing this food to do another damage to the Steamkin. Getting that thing out of here. Okay. Hmm. They gotta have like Rimrock Knight to make that attack. I would think. Could have sacked Gutter Bones to get a token, then you had three devil tr triggers with token familiar and another token. What do you mean, token familiar and another token? Yeah, how, how would I have gotten more tokens? I'm not, I'm not sure how I was supposed to get more Mayhem Devil triggers. My opponent
poor, my poor opponent, Mayhem Devil, is just killing all these creatures. Alright, so Torbrand does not get claimed, because it is CMC4. So you're saying end step, I should have sacrificed gutter bones at end step. And then I would have been able to bring back, after playing Mayhem Devil, bring back Cauldron Familiar and sack Cauldron Familiar and bring it back. Um, Let's see. All right, what am I doing? Okay, we're doing Midnight Reaper attack. Kind of weird when our life total is just so high that we can. We can pretty safely. Play Midnight Reaper against. The red deck. Um. Get extra damage in here. Hey, what's up, Rex? Thanks for that resub there. <laughs> Nine months there. Oh, hey, the notification works today, right? Yeah, the, so the notifications are working today. Yay. They didn't work yesterday for some reason, but they're working today. I just realized that. Hey, Exerps, it's going well. Okay. So we're going to steal this thing. I mean, I guess I could have Cavalier of Night killed the Torbrand, but whatever. I don't. This this is just game anyway here. We just steal that attack with everything. We have the double witches oven. They're they're dead. All right, one on one. GG's. Ugh. Okay, got that down. You played against an arena developer yesterday and you won very fast. Good job. I've always had pretty bad luck against the arena developers whenever I get paired against them. Um, you can tell if you're uh, if you have not been paired against an arena develop, de developer eh, yet. You can tell because their name is uh, like gold or something instead of like regular. Like the the name is is different. It's mythic orange. Yeah, there you go.
This is the first day that I'm using the uncommon cat, or sorry, the uncommon fox. We got the uncommon fox yesterday. So I guess it's just the fox with some armor. Or it's a fox with like a Legolas Halloween outfit. So I'm guessing this is Simic Flash, which is not good for the hand that I have. Like, Cavalier of Night is my worst card against Simic Flash. It's just the absolute worst card in my deck, and so it's not great that we have two copies out of the three in our deck. So that's, that's not too great for us. <laughs> yeah, the pet should be a goose. Need to win 450 gems with drafts to get the fox. There you go, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> They're taking the Oko to Isengard. Or you said the pet, the pet should be an elk, like every other creature in the metagame. Attack. We'll see if we get to cause any mayhem here. Yeah, not super likely there. Um, I think it's pretty likely for an Oko ban this month, honestly. I really do. I really do kind of feel like that's where we're at. I'd put it at over 50%. Well, unfortunately, they have the best card in their deck. And that probably means we're dead. So not only do I draw my two worst cards in my deck, my opponent has their best card in their deck, and this is just not a good situation for me. I Obviously, I could have played the Witch's Oven first main, and then if they play the Ambusher to block, I have the Oven that I get to sacrifice. That's something I could have done. However, I went with the idea of just of not doing that, of just going to attack, hoping that they would be scared of ooh that is like my best card to draw i was hoping they'd be scared of tapping out but they were not scared of tapping out So I still have I have quench covered, but I don't have negate covered. Not really ultimate. No, not really. Just kind of do my own thing. I don't really need a shock in there for a third mana. We, we don't have to play around mystical dispute. They don't have that. Like you know, they don't have the mana for mystical dispute. Wow. I assumed by the just like the bounce of the Brazen Borrower that there was a plan to recounter this witch's oven. That was my assumption. 
So I'm glad that's not the case. Yeah, the next the next BNR announcement is in two weeks two weeks from today. On the fourteenth. So land would be good where we could play Oven and Cavalier next turn. No, I, I don't know anything about Pioneer BNRs. Was there was there an announcement about Pioneer BNR today or something? I would I would assume there wouldn't be any announcement about that till the next BNR update on the 18th. Yeah, it, that would not be a bad that would not be a bad idea to save WoW cards for two weeks if you if you can. If you can save them, that's not a bad idea. Am I supposed to play Cavalier of Night first or Witch's Oven first? I guess it's better for me if Cavalier of Night resolves to get rid of the... Ambusher. I kind of feel like they have Quench. Oh. No. They had Frilled Mystic. Pioneer bands are on the fly every Monday. Whoa. Turn four ambusher is tough to beat. We're trying over here. Obviously, if they have no counter magic here, plus no removal for Cavalier of Night, we have a shot. But if they do have a counter spell or removal for Cavalier of Night, we don't have much of a shot. This is just, this is the game here. Do they or don't they? Now, do they have removal? Card's good.
No, Brazen Borrower is really good for for our opponent's deck. I yeah, I, I think that card's really good in Simic Flash. My opponent sure likes to take their time. We're playing best of one. Huh. No attack even with the Spectral Sailor. That's good. So I'm bringing back the Cauldron Familiar right now so that I can do one damage to my opponent and pick up Gutter Bones. But while Midnight Reaper will get us more cards, it'll be difficult to... It'll be a little bit more difficult to race the Brazen Borrower with us losing a life each time Cauldron Familiar dies. Yeah, I'm kind of glad this isn't best of three also. But best of one, there's no there's no time limit on best of one. Uh, so they get to take as much time as they want. Um, you know, they don't have to worry about running out of time like in best of three. Okay, there we go. That might have been lethal if they would have just attacked with everything. Hey, Hiccup. Uh, new metagame, there's lots of Oko decks. Um, counter spells are pretty good. Also. That's the best card to draw. Please resolve. No counterspell, they die. Wow, no counterspell, they die. So my opponent would have just, well, they, they had five creatures to attack with. I blocked this one, I gained four life, so I'm at 10. 
And there's a whole bunch of those. I block, block. I guess I'm taking six. But then if I don't do any sacrificing, I'd have to, like, sacrifice the Reaper, take one, so seven. I guess it wasn't lethal. They need to get the Brazen Borrower out a little earlier. Like They could have got Brazen Borrowers out earlier and been attacking with those. At least. But yeah, we got there. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. GG's. Let's draw red man now. This would be a good time to draw that red mana. Hey, Wrangler, good afternoon. I'm going to try, yeah, with the Azorius control, I'm going to try a, I'm trying the, the list that, that went, made top eight at Grand Prix Lyon yesterday. So that's what, so both this Rakdos and the Azorius, both of those lists, that's where they're from. That's a good one. Yeah, I would say that's a good one. Wasn't sure. Wasn't sure at first. But... Upon further inspection, I think I'd have to say that, yeah, that, that was a good one. So do I just make them sacrifice a creature here? I kind of feel, feel like that. Okay. And then I was just going to attack them for four with these. Yeah, I did play the Artisan for the card styles. I played Mono Blue, like the, the Mono Blue budget deck that, that we had. Um, yeah, I just played Unsummons instead of the Brazen Borrowers, but I played that. I played just Mono Blue and countered a bunch of spells and killed people with Cutthroats and stuff and played. It was, real, it was real fast. I did. Sure, I, do I still have it here? If you want to see my artisan deck list, probably down here somewhere. It was this. See, so yeah, like, this is what I played. I started with like main deck Ether Gust, but it was like it wasn't very good at all. I thought Ether Gust was going to be good, but it wasn't. And so I took them out for Mystical Disputes. They were a lot better. But yeah, this list was good. All right, we're three and one. <laughs> yeah, that that's so mean to small creature decks, which is why this is probably just a good best of one deck. And we've already played against multiple small creature decks. Um, 
and Mayhem Devil against small creature decks is just so mean. No, I didn't stream it. I just did it earlier today. You played Teamer Elementals. Nice. And you had a lot of fun with that one. That's good. Good, good. Da Goose. Da Goose. Da Goose is on fire. Leading with familiar, because I don't really want them to... I don't really want them to... Like, if, if that was going to be turn 2 Oko, I'd have the Rampage for Oko. But I don't want them to, like, just Oko turn Oven into a 3-3. I don't care if they turn familiar into a 3-3. Walk with me. Sing with me. I will enlighten you. Let's mm. broaden your existence. Red mana would be so good if we could draw red mana. Red mana. Nope. Okay. I should probably just rampage the Oko. Well, I guess I have... Okay, never mind. We got this. Yeah, because I this is red mana. Double black left. Play cat and familiar or or like familiar and oven or get another priest in play. I'm gonna go this route because I want to play like Midnight Reaper next turn. Alright, so that was a good turn. We got rid of Mana, Mana, Oko. That was a good turn. Of course, we want to keep our life total high. I guess we don't... Uh, playing this thing means I get to attack with it. Do I want to attack with it? Nah. Alright. Hey, what's up, good brother? Alright, time to look for another rampage for the Nyssa. Harness the elements. Another claim the first born would be really nice too. Mayhem Devil would be really nice. So basically our red spells. We want to find uh, red spells. Not a red spell. Um...
fights for us. Not exactly sure how I want to do this. Huh, no attacks. We have some extra life to play with. The no attacks was awesome for me, honestly. Draw four. Miles wait. Ooh. All right. Good thing I waited. So basically, need to find Angrass Rampage or Mayhem Devil here real fast. So I am I am thinning the library. Even though, obviously, Mayhem De or Failed Passage is better saved for after Mayhem Devil. Risking it by keeping both these Midnight Reapers around. But I want to draw a lot of cards. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Seven. Oh, this thing's at seven. I can't do sack creature, sack creature, and then kill Nissa, unfortunately. I guess I waste a black mana here. Down to ten, down to eight, seven. It's fine. And wait on the claim the firstborn to be able to steal it and have priest. I'm gonna be sacking one of these midnight reapers here to the oven first. I don't actually want I don't actually want two midnight reapers in play anymore. But I think I think I can have it in play for one death. But that was definitely the power of Midnight Reaper here this game. So many cards. We've drawn fourteen more cards than our opponent. Or at least we've gone through 14 more cards. Some of those are Fable Passages. That's like three of them were Fable Passages. Yeah, we're Gristle Branding pretty hard here. True. All right, we got enough cards. Let's stop losing life. And I guess we should attack. Ooh. 
Unfortunately, Claim cannot give my Cavalier haste. Unfortunately. No Mayhem Devils in here? Nope. So that's five damage. Priest is six, seven. This thing is eight. I don't have the extra two damage yet. Oh, yeah, if, if I would have just blocked with the cat last turn instead of blocking with Midnight Reaper. Yeah, if I would have done that. Could have killed my opponent here. Darn. So I'm going to draw Mayhem Devil. Uh, what do you do? Hmm. Wish I had one more mana and I could Cavalier of Night and Witch's Oven. Yeah, let's do this. All right, figured it out. Doesn't really matter what priest we target here. They're both just the same. And then we sacrifice these. Do an extra two points of damage. Sure, we'll throw those gutter bones out there. I could have sacrificed the priest also, but we'll just sack the scutter bones. Get some food. Kitty, kitties need some food to munch on. All right. Do you have a, oh, like my, a favorite best of one archetype aside from Oko? Um, yeah, like this. This is a really good one here. This is definitely a really good one. Last Monday, we played Grixis Knights that I liked quite a bit. I'm not sure how good Grixis Knights would really stack up against a Mayhem Devil, though. Um, we played an Outlaw's Merriment Mardu deck. Fires of Invention, Outlaw's Merriment. Um, that one, I, I don't necessarily think that one's as good as this, but as far as just favorite, I really liked that one. Alright, we're going to play two more games. I guess I need to reset Arena before we played here. I had Arena up for a while today making decks, but it, like I didn't really play games, so I kind of forgot to I kind of forgot to reset Arena before this league, but with just two more games to go here, I'm going to see if we can get through it. But I don't know, it's it's not acting too well. Hmm. This hand has everything. 
How am I supposed to get rid of one of these? I mean, the only card to get rid of is either Rampage or Midnight Reaper. Like, the other five we're certainly keeping. So it's either Rampage or Reaper. And I, I guess we just go Reaper. With us only having two land right now. Maybe it's just Rampage. It's like, if they... If they hmm, I'll just get rid of Rampage. If they play a Planeswalker, I'll be sad. You liked Reaper? You liked Rampage? It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's close. Basically, if there's like turn two or turn three Oka, I really want the Rampage. If it's not, if it's just creatures, like the Mayhem Devil can deal with creatures. I don't know. Yeah, tough call. You know, it could, could really work out for us keeping Reaper, or we could be really wishing we had that Rampage. Okay, so we got a Fable Passage here to make sure that we have Devil next turn. Unfortunately, it's... It's one less damage with the Devil. So getting a Black Source is... Like, because of Cavalier of Night, Black... You know, like, we're going to need another Black Source for the Cavalier of Night... I, I, I don't really imagine us just only... If we draw two more lands for Cavalier of Night, us only having other red sources. Oh, I, I just didn't sacrifice Familiar there. Whoops. I was talking about the mana and just forgot to do the whole oven thing. So that, that's one damage, right? Because, yeah, I would have brought it back so I could have attacked with it. So, yeah, it would have been, like, what, one damage? So am I supposed to just go Reaper here? I feel like going Devil if they uh, if they would use their Druid. Yeah, all the decks are here. So it's a game you're interested in. You're blind to your folly. Oh dear. That's a good draw. Come on. So I missed one point of damage earlier on them with the familiar. Obviously, I could have dealt like the extra two damage with the devil over there, but I didn't know I was going to be drawing the rampage. But it did make them jump block with the 2 1. I guess I could have just made them sacrifice the 2-1 and then dealt 3 to Oko. It's the same thing. But if they just don't block, then I don't need to use the Rampage. I guess I maybe would have 1 and 2 anyway. I'm not sure. Now this is where... So it looks like we kind of get rewarded for keeping Midnight Reaper, probably. This is where Midnight Reaper can draw us a lot of cards. Getting it back here because I want to attack with it. Uh... 
<laughs> which is of an effect needs to cost mana. It's really powerful not costing mana. Not costing mana is pretty good. Um, I think I'm actually just going to sacrifice the Reaper. We'll, we'll kind of see what we draw here. This is just a land. Could, so if I if I sacrifice Reaper, it gets rid of their Brazen Borrower for good. I don't know. I guess we don't really have a ton else after that. No. We'll just let them have Brazen Borrower. That card's good. It'd basically be, because, you know, I only have the three mana. So if I would have, like, had another, like, good spell to go with the priest, and then, you know, I knew I was drawing another one. If I would have just had, like, other spells, like, maybe I just didn't have, like, the time to replay the Reaper, and so just get rid of their Borrower for good. But I think we'll have time to replay the Reaper. And, yeah, the Borrower isn't super scary. Oh, yeah, I did forget to play the land then. Yep. The ties that bind us all. Playing magic while streaming can can be difficult. Or by difficult, I mean you miss stuff. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, I did need to bring back the familiar, but I should have just played the land though. Dances around you. That was a really good turn for my opponent. Welcome to the feast. But they're at six and they tapped out. Never mind, that was not a good turn for them. What are they doing? That just, isn't that just dead on board? They just completely tapped out with no blockers at six. They like shocked in and everything. What are they doing? Like they're just dead on board. <laughs> they're very dead. Sorry, I was kind of dumbfounded there. And then, I guess I was just going to bring this thing back right now, even though I wouldn't get the ping, but I'd get the attack. Alright, 5-1. and one. We're going to play one more match. One more game. We're going seven games with each deck. Good odd number. So won't, won't be 500, but hopefully we'll get the 6-1 instead of the 5-2. Ugh. Slow hand on the draw. It's not bad, though. Definitely want to save the Fable Passage for after Devil. Let's just get rid of this thing. The thing, like, it's it's not too difficult to kill that thing with, like, the Mayhem Devils and stuff, and it, it honestly doesn't do that much. I'm just going to get rid of it, though, because I just want to use my mana also. All right, so Tamik's a 2-3, so 3 toughness is a little bit harder to deal with. Nice, Virtile. Have to let me know how it goes. 
Heraldic Banner. So we got Mono White Flyers. That thing's dead. Um. That's a good turn for me. And we have the Cavalier of Night set up for next turn where we can sack Gutter Bones, do two damage divided as we choose, and then also kill the Tamik. Ooh, getting aggro with it. Gotta watch out for... Not raise the alarm. The thing that... The card for Flyers... Rally of Wings. Yeah, that card. Rally of Wings. War Screecher. I don't know, like, the best way to play around Rally of Wings. I guess it's... I guess it's just do two damage to War's Creature. But that is a waste of two damage if they don't have Rally of Wings, but if they don't, I'm just looking good anyway. But now if they, okay, if they do, if they would have them, you know, we would have just been trading Devil for Screecher. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bantu instead of Cavalier of Night would have been insane in this position, I agree. Gross. Pay three life for that card. I was hoping for like an Angrass Rampage. I mean, it would have been better. It would have been better if I just didn't do that and picked up the other gutter bones and played it. But then, yeah, I guess we don't draw the Blood Crypt next turn now. Some sometimes things work out. So yeah, we just mow down everything. I guess I technically wouldn't have to kill the loyal Pegasus. But it's all good. Alright, a good 6-1. So yeah, Racto Sacrifice is just a really good. Um, definitely really impressed with this deck and best of 1 with uh, a lot of small creature decks, you know, like 
three of the seven decks that we played against were decks that had a lot of one toughness creatures and that's exactly what you want with mayhem devil <laughs> against all three of those opponents we had mayhem devil and we just shredded through the one toughness creatures claim the firstborn was definitely good and angrass rampage i really really like that as a two mana answer to oko and the just like really good um utility card that has you know a lot of good um applications in different matchups um but yeah the angrass rampage was um was really good you know i think that's that's like the perfect anti-planeswalker card for this deck you get to play the four of them in the main deck and everything midnight reaper super impressive drew us lots of cards definitely really impressive midnight reaper but yeah I'd have to say this this Rakdos Sacrifice list worked really well. You know, like we didn't have Dreadhorde Butcher or Judith or Chandra. Three cards that you almost always see, but it didn't, you know, we we didn't have them. And um, our deck still worked pretty well. I was kind of worried about Priest of Forgotten Gods not having enough creatures to sacrifice, honestly. But it was it was still pretty good. But... Our priest is a little weak. We don't have tons of creatures to sacrifice. But Cavalier of Night did just fine. Did just fine. It helped us uh, defeat a Night Pack Ambusher uh, that we probably should not have defeated. But we definitely would not have had a shot if we didn't have Cavalier of Night in our deck. So, yeah, there's... Yeah, so this... This specific 75 was the, the 75 that top aided the Grand Prix Grand Prix Lyon this weekend again. Um, but yeah, there's no Chandra in here. Um, as you can see, red is just kind of a splash. You know, we're mostly black based, especially with the Cavalier of Night. So we're just kind of splashing red. Um, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. You think Rankle is a bit better than Cavalier? Well, Rankle you can't target. Like sometimes you just have to like kill a specific thing, and Cavalier of Night does that. And a f there's, like, the 4 or 5 lifelink body is pretty underrated. Like, that's a really large body. And then plus Cavalier gets back some of these creatures, especially these three drops, like Midnight Reaper, Mayhem Devil, if you want to sack it, like, to Witch's Oven or something, or if it dies in combat. I was happy with the Cavalier of Night. I honestly was. Being able to kill exactly what you want to kill. It was good. All right. Uh, that's it here for Rakdos Sacrifice, though. Very good best of one deck. Just a good deck in general. But if you want to rank up in best of one, this is, uh, and especially if you don't want to play Oko and you want to rank up in best of one, this is a really good choice, honestly. Um, yeah, I'd recommend this one. But that's it here for uh, Rakdos Sacrifice. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit that like button, leave some comments. Um, you know, this is a, a popular kind of deck if you're playing something else pretty similar. And, you know, feel free to set, uh, leave your list over there. Also, uh, check out the Patreon. I uh, finally got back to posting on the Patreon. Got a brand new post about um, the results from Grand Prix Lyon this past weekend. Um, I'm going to be posting about the uh, Theros cards that were previewed, that were kind of spoiled. Uh, I'll be I'll be posting about those cards also over there. That's where I put my written content. It's three dollars a month to join over there. All right, that's here for Racto Sacrifice, though. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.